Hey guys, if you're ever buying diamonds, Aptoid's version of Mobile Legends will save you the most amount of money. The more people that buy diamonds from them, the cheaper they actually become. So there's no reason for anyone not to be using my link in the description. It's 100% legit. They're an official partner of Moonton, so there's no risk of your account being banned, and it literally takes 10 seconds to download. So if you're not saving money, I don't know what to tell you, you're, you're just missing out. Um, let's actually just get right into it. Welcome guys for tuning in. This is MPL Philippine Season 9, Week 3, Day 2. We have Blacklist versus Bren. Um, I don't, has Blacklist won a game with Kevyar? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't think they've, they've won a game with Kevyar. Uh, again, we're going to watch Kevyar very closely this game just to see what he does. Uh, this already looks a little dangerous here. Blacklist probably going to lose River here. They're... Yeah, he does. He does retro. No River for uh, for Blacklist. So, Ren's going to have a little bit of a, an advantage rotation, especially the Haya. That movement speed from the Letho. I have yet to see... I love the Yurnus versus the Dragon. I honestly love the Yurnus pick here. Yurnus is always a little dicey versus Beatrix, but Yurnus is really strong against all of Bren's team. And Edward is doing fine. I mean, the dragon really can't do much. I'm not sure why Edward didn't hit him there. That was a little weird. Like, if he's going to take a tower shot, you might as well hit him. Like, you're not going to give dragon full passive when you have second skill. But, anyway. So, Bren's up in gold, as usual. Um... And this is game one, by the way, Blacklist uh, versus Bren. We're going to be reviewing all the games today, so I hope you guys uh, tune in for us to games. We'll be watching the chat in between them, so if you guys have any messages to send as well, feel free to send them down. I am live streaming right now. Uh, if you guys are watching this video, be sure to check out my channel for that. Hmm. I, I definitely think Blacklist wins the end game here, which actually has me a little worried. Because uh, I felt like Kevyar almost died there. I don't know why, but I feel like Kevyar almost died. Man, if that Beatrix just turned around and shock on him. Ooh, man. I feel like that, that was close for Kevyar, to be honest. That, that was a little dicey. No compensation on top for Blacklist. Meanwhile, Bren's doing turtle. A lot of gold picked off that top tower, though. It's about a 200, 220 gold compensation for Blacklist there. As long as you have mana as your NS, you're, you're really unstoppable early game. They can't do anything to you. Alright, let's turn it up a little bit. Saksa. Yeah, a little overextended tank, and you know they get turtle. They're a little bit higher levels. It's just getting 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 get nuked. She gonna make it? Wow. Jeez. I'd be crazy if like they flickered on top of her. Not a lot of. Ooh. Here we go. He doesn't even. Oh. Oh boy. Saksa. Yeah. Unfortunately, not a lot of map from Bren right there from the CAG. Just sitting at 1 HP. No recall against the Ling. Like. The only way I think Edward would have died there is if he got petrified under tower. And uh, that is a lot of uh, power damage. What's going on here? I feel like they don't take this serious enough, man. I mean, Alita taking like five tower shots, four or five tower shots. Uranus dying in a 1v1 against the Uzan. Oh, like, feels like a classic to me. 
Players have their red tree. Great evil dragon immediately cancels that. Wow, cancels two ults. And flap. Well played. Well played. Ooh, boy, oh boy. It tricks against the uh, Uranus now. It's probably a pretty smart play considering I don't think the dragon can do much to him anymore. And he just got dominance as well. Really strong item early game against that comp dominance. Four physical. You have a dragon. Ruby. Really, really strong item. I wonder if he has melee boots dominance. Or talisman. It's five minutes in. I, I don't I don't know if he has a... That was close. I'll have an item check. I'm curious to see if he has two items. I don't think he has two items yet. Maybe he does. I'd be surprised if he has talisman dominance already. He does? Wow. I wonder if the Uranus is going to buy Oracle here. I don't know if I would against that comp. Only one mage? Oracle, you can really put on like a beefy item like blade armor or something. Oh, he does not. He does not have talisman. He went right into dominance. Wow. Wow. Interesting. I don't know. Yeah, kind of like Blacklist position. You just you have that Eve, and there's just not much you can do. Yeah, like there's just like if the dragon's not there, the Eve is just so deadly. Like every time you're fighting Eve, Eve all. Evil every every single time. Like you just you can't be sitting around if you're brand. You just can't. Like you either have to go in quick, you know, burn a flicker or something to cancel that ult. Flaps playing pretty good again, trying to pull that turtle out. Eve actually doesn't have an ult though. Blacklist is looking a little weak here. Now that he's got that ult, can he get in position to use it though? Uranus is looking strong. Ooh. Ooh. Hit her again. Still pretty even game though. Bren's actually slightly in the lead. Surprising. I feel like Blacklist comp is just is just better. I feel like it's just better. Look at that Uranus going dominance right into Dreadnought. Wow. And melee boots. Wow. Wow. That's something to see. Eve even has melee boots. Lots of melee boots coming on from Blacklist. I love to see it. Uranus almost feels unstoppable right now. Playing with 19k, wow. Heavy R is 2-0-5, oh, and, and he's a little under-farmed as usual. I mean, that's what you get when you lose three turtles, and you're still 2-0-5. Oh, appreciate that. I'll take a look at the uh, donations after the game. Thank you very much, though. Showing mastery of this OP hero sa Arjun na nakikita natin. Oo, oh, madalas. Madalas natin nakikita ito. Oh. Kung hindi man nakakalaban, madalas nakakakampi natin. Pag oh. nagsosolo, nagtitrio, oh. di ba? Mga 1v1. Mga 1v1, no? Ikaw yun. Pag walang magawa, no? Turn it down a little. I feel like I can't talk if I'm chatting the whole time. I'd love to see Blacklist win a game. 
And honestly, Kevyar, he's been playing pretty well this game. Is is it finally time? Kevyar stepping up? Ooh. Well, I don't know how he didn't die there. Were, were they worried about the Lolita ulting from that push, maybe? I feel like they easily could have killed the, the Eve. The Kag is 0-3. I, th I thought Bren was slightly better than this. Oh my god, like... They could have killed the Kag there, to be honest. They don't want to waste it since they're doing Lord, though. Dragon's taking a lot of damage. Oh my god, he didn't even cancel Haji, but he goes... He's gonna die for it. Edward Flicker. It's kind of a slight mistake there. Going in and then just going out. I mean, what's the point? You're gonna die anyway. Ren, really securing their objectives, though. I... Didn't expect that, you know, obviously you can't expect Caviar to do much during objectives. Good try. Edwards, thank you though, man. Oh my lord. I just don't see Haya doing much. To be honest, I don't see Haya doing much. Blacklist endgame is way better. I don't think anything's gonna happen here either, to be honest. I mean, it's... Okay, see, unless you get really aggressive like that... See, but still, like... <sighs> it's just such weak initiation. Uranus is collapsing on him, like, what's gonna happen here? Oh my god, and Uranus is just an absolute monster. Dexter goes down, but at what cost? Saxa? Oh my god, Soxa hit the Eve there again on a, on a Shadow. Wow, two for one for Bren. I feel like that should not have happened. They couldn't even recall and, and Blacklist kind of went in there. I like that was a little mistake. Edward may be a little greedy, but it's also, you know, hard for Blacklist to judge that if they're not communicating properly. If Uranus goes in, you usually want to go in, but I mean, Uranus' survivability is very, very... Oh my god, are you kidding me? How did that not hit him? I think he was fine anyway, I mean, maybe. Unless the Ruby can snatch him while he's going up, I mean, you know he's gonna auto on that bottom one. Right, you know he's gonna skill up and fly on that bottom rock right there, that's the closest one. So, if that Ruby could have predicted that, I could definitely see a prediction there from, from the Ruby. Good morning guys to everyone in NA, and uh, happy night to my guests if you're watching over in uh, C. Gonna be re reviewing a lot of games today. It's still really even, like, nothing is clear yet. Nothing is clear. I don't know how Blacklist is not more. They're only up... Th they just never get any objectives. Lolita just sitting out in the open, maybe, like... Everything's too obvious from that from that Lolita. It, like, join vision, you can seal right out in the open, like... I don't know what that, that was. It was like, hey, I'm like here, you know, they're maybe trying to scare him off. I don't see anything else happening. What's Caviar doing? He's going to take that top wave, which is pretty smart. I gotta say, Caviar's improving, and they immediately go for it. I wouldn't be surprised if I see all ults here with that Ling on top. Is he even going to make it? Yeah, Caviar, not, not, even, not even there for Lord. Yeah. Here is just taking damage right there. Got, what has he got in this battle, probably? Boy boy coming right around. Ren's looking to push in here. They've got Lord. Blacklist, but that Eve, man. Oh my god. Like, there's just no range on that Eve with, like, a Ruby tank. There's no range. Jeez, the damage he took there. And if, if you're if you're Bren, I feel like you really have to be in other lanes here. Otherwise, you're just wasting more. They have, like, one more wave of supers, but, you know, they're letting that link farm top. Like, you gotta, you gotta force something there, you know? You just, you gotta rush it. Just flicker in. Grab that Eve. 
It's just getting zoned out on, on a Lord push. Ooh, that. Like, you gotta do something. If you have five people in bot and you see the link, like, you you just, you gotta go in somehow. It's, it's hard. I mean, it's very hard, but maybe get a little better position and just try to execute something. Go in, just burn it. You got lord. I mean, they just wasted it. I feel like there should have been another lanes there. Should have taken a little slower. Blacklist draft is just OP here. I feel like it's just so hard. You're out in solo dolo and top lane, bot lane. Here comes the lane. You're probably dead. Only one who can probably survive him is Dragon. Probably Ruby too. I don't know if you can if, if you're Bia. I like that. Yes, go in. Oh my god, he's backing up. Oh no. I honestly thought the dragon was going to go in there. I really thought he was. I thought they were going to take that. So defensive. It's like not even worth it. At that point, it's not even worth it. Boy boy behind, but I mean... Edward just has to dodge that cat because he doesn't really have a lot of mage defense. I don't think he'd go in Oracle either. Smart. It's very tough because as soon as you go in it and your Bren and you're in the Eve's not dead, he's he's ulting on you and you're you're hurting every single time. Every single time. Lord got reset there. It's very low though. Uh, I, I don't know who I favor here. It's looking like I favor Blacklist because the dragon's already so low. I mean, I feel like he can't even go in and ult. Ahaya's got to defend right lane. I mean, it's not it's not looking good at here, Brad. Blacklist might win their first game. Dragon Petrify? Oh, they're so stacked. They didn't want to fight, but man, they were stacked on that Dragon Petrify there. It's going to be a lot of gold coming in here from Blacklist from that Lord. I don't know, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for Bren here yeah, against an Eve. I feel like the Eve is just carrying so hard. Like, what can you do? Under that Eve ult, he's waiting until that Lord comes in, but it doesn't look like they uh, sink their lanes too well here. Maybe. Looks alright after all. Evolves just a little defensive, you know, trying to get that mid tower. Dragon cancels it right away. That's expected, though. Ooh. Uh oh, Blacklist! Oh, Dexstar! Embarrassing. <laughs> Man, I feel like. Oh, jeez. I feel like one mistake has blacklist and you lose. They're they're just so they're such a fragile team. You know, they're so fragile. They're very squishy too. It feels like they're squishy. It's got wind. And he sold boots for Athena Shield. So, they're looking to, uh, the end tier. Or stay around the objective. I don't think Clint is moving out of mid anymore with no boots. Wow. He's looking to stay. He's looking to stay. Got two very defensive items. That's going to be hard for Bren. Are they really not holding mid? With no boots on that clint? I still like Dexstar's position here. Absolutely love it. 
talaga sa team fight and look at the damage taken flak Alright. Blacklist, yeah, e Eve's definitely the, the MVP here. 100%. I think. Of Blacklist position. Friends, probably gonna have to contest this. I don't know if you can survive another Lord here. It's 20 minutes in, it's a long game. Then starting right on it. Forcing him out. Kakailangan dito ng Bren. Ito na yung hinihintay nating contest na kakailanganin. Kasi kung sino man ang makakuha nito, TBC and Santi. Hey, you, you need everything here if you're the Clint. You need that extra shield from, from the Lolita. He looked a little weak there, honestly. Just... Oh, God. What a snipe. Got that endless battle, though, I think. Longer the fight goes on, that Uranus is just raking up his stacks and his passives. Definitely a big advantage for Blacklist. So they see the Haya over there, what are they going to do here? Maybe an early ult from the Eve, just zone him out and take Lord? No, they don't. Got a lot of HP to burn. Got a lot of HP to burn. Really, you just have the Clint damage on the Lord. Oh. Well, and, and the link, obviously. The jungler it's, has to be expected. And I'd love to see an ult from Dexstar here. Not in the in Bren's bushes, but right before and then just flickering them. And then having a Uranus or something jump on it immediately for vision. I would love to see that. I feel like that's such a good play as a Lolita player. It's a super sneaky play. So they don't feel the ult coming and then you hit them with the ult. Again, Dex starts showing himself. Like, I'd love to just see an ult here. And then just a flicker right on top of him. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. Flaps going in. That ult's cancelled. Is Bren going to fight it is the question. Oh my god. The lead to taking a lot of damage. Yurin is as strong as ever up there in front of the line. And a lot of minions on Bren's base. I'd honestly love to see the Ling stay over there in base right now. I don't know. Like, the longer the fight goes on, the, the better the uh, the flank is. But all right, let's see what's happening here. Lord's low. Everyone's going in. Ag looks like she missed. Someone, Caviar, 1 HP. He finally goes in. He's not in the back of the line, which is pretty good. Well played, Caviar. Well done, well done, Caviar. But Blacklist is so low. Oh, wow. They're low against this dragon. He does not have his purified or his uh, petrified. See, I would love... Man, I just... If that Ling can time it right just to go to right lane... Blacklist and Bren is full HP here. Bren is full HP. That Kag is she looking old? Oh god, that Kag sitting under Eve. Oh boy. Eve, the power of Eve, man. Definitely MVP, 100%. I would love to see if you know they're just, it's like a stalemate, 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 and you have those minions. You know Bren is eventually just want to give them up and try and come in and contest. They've been pretty good about that, defending that right lane, though. People are really voting for Blacklist here, and I think it's over as well. The high is not going to do much in the team fight. I just don't really see anyone pressuring that Clint down. He's got the win. He's got the Athena. I think it's over here for Bren. Bren's, you know, they're still hanging on in gold, but... I love the Uranus, get nice as aggressive. Yeah, run up on that. Yeah, show that Bia who's boss. Yeah, it's, you can't die that early too. It's it's definitely, a, yeah, look at Lord. No damage. I just... Oh, not a chance. Yeah. They just have no damage. You need like... You need you need a jungler. If you lose that position, you just can't have Haya there. You don't have any like any AoE. You have no clear. You have no clear. You have a Kagura. I don't understand the, the draft there from, from Bren. You have, like, so much single target. 
Like, there's no clear there. The damage feels super weak.